this is Sayyid Niaz Ahmed uh, welcoming you from NTV Studios London Europe, uh, NTV Europe's London uh, Studios. Uh, this is a uh, episode of Talking Points and we have our guest today, Sayyid Zaki Hassan. Uh, welcome to the show, Sayyid Zaki Hassan. And as we started with pandemic and we want to talk about pandemic and then we switch to uh, women's emancipation and women empowerment uh, all over the world and particularly Bangladesh, you see. Education as a tool for upliftment of women in general is being used everywhere. But uh, what's happening particularly in Bangladesh? It seems not a day passes without some bad news about women being tortured, raped, discriminated on a regular scale. Did you get my question? Yes. Good. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, thank you for giving us. First of all, I would like to pay my respect to all the women who have given up their lives during the pandemic, yep. serving other patients, and all care workers who are now looking after uh, patients day in and day out. Incidentally, 2020 marks the 25th anniversary of the Beijing Platform for Action for Women. True. And with the idea of making plans and implementing them for the welfare of women globally. Unfortunately, during to this, during, uh, because of this pandemic, uh, women are greatly impacted. Uh, they are impacted socially. Uh, emotionally, financially, and domestically. The problem of women is huge, and they are spending about 31 hours a week looking after children and with domestic chores. True. Children are at home. There is more work for women, and this applies to women in Bangladesh as well. 743 million girls are out of school during the pandemic and out of them 111 million girls are in dire poverty in undeveloped countries mm -hmm. <coughs> we in were talking world, about the, uh, the pandemic and its in impact on uh, women folk as you said that women folk are working 31 hours a day uh, day in day out they are breadwinners in many societies. They look, have to look after the children, drop them off at the school, pick them up, cook the food, and do the housekeeping. So, women are everywhere in the same sort of situation, whether they are uh, managers or whether they are just simple housewives. They have to go through the same situation and 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 the rules yes. see and uh, yes. you talked about uh, the women and 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 particularly young women who have to offer a lot of time and uh, have to look after their career as well now yes we in ba in bangladesh you see we have a lot of problems it seems uh, particularly with regard to women. See, despite education, despite uh, uh, a large number of universities, uh, uh, women in, in, in business, in, in other professions, uh, uh, people who are in working in, 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 in very, very strange uh, situations, they suffer a lot, particularly uh, the women in, in rural areas see and there hardly goes a day a week when we do not read about uh, not just uh, being discriminated against but not getting enough money for the job they perform but they are being discriminated just because of what they are women see they are not given the right their right what they should be getting and they are also denied their right because they are not men folk they are raped indiscriminately here and there and that is a big problem in 
Bangladesh, not only in Bangladesh, it is all in Southeast Asia. Apart from that, there is also problem of human trafficking, where people are exposed to so many problems, you see, we, they, they want better life, but it seems that uh, they end up in, in uh, very bad situations. You must have come across uh, these uh, reports uh, and, and must have read in newspapers about such happenings, particularly in Bangladesh and also Bangladesh is not the only nation that is suffering on this, uh, India, Pakistan, uh, particularly South Asia where it is rumored that uh, young girls prefer older men. I do not know whether this is true or not, but this is being exploited to export girls and they are married to well off westerners and in other countries. Are you with me? Yes, in Bangladesh, just like the rest of the world, women are now facing a lot of problems. They are being uh, domestically abused uh, because of unemployment, financial difficulties, and uh, uh -huh. uh, they are being, uh, they don't have access to uh, contraceptives. Uh, abortion clinics are now closed all over the world. So uh, there is forced pregnancy at the moment. And the UN report says there will be 7 million uh, unplanned pregnancies during this pandemic and uh, in, in low income countries. And the future of those children will be hugely impacted upon. Mm -hmm. And this applies this, to the whole figure, world. Excuse me. This uh, figure of 27 million. Uh, a UN report has said that 20.5 million people were unemployed in April, mm -hmm. out of which 55% are women. Uh -huh. And those 55% women are now at home looking after their children, looking after the elderly, looking after themselves and their spouses. And this is unpaid work. Uh -huh. This is unpaid work. So, yep. therefore, uh, this has to be looked into and all strategic planning for the future have to target women's needs at the, at the, at the beginning. Hello? Zakia Hassan, I understand that you are also a poet and a writer. Can you hear me? Uh, very faintly again. Uh, I cannot hear you again. Yes, I, I, again, your voice is become right. very unclear. I, I was saying that uh, I have been reading that. Uh, you are also a poet and a writer. Have you written something about yes. uh, women's empowerment recently? Have you written something? Yes, I, I edit a magazine uh, run by a Commonwealth charity, which uh -huh. is a, a quarterly magazine. And uh, yes, I have written about uh, women leaders who are doing very well now at the moment. Right. And uh, I would like to mention that in the countries where there are women leaders like uh, Finland, Denmark, Germany, New Zealand, uh, those women leaders have been very successful in minimizing the impact of COVID and have been very successful containing it in their areas. Right. Uh, I know that every single uh, social worker has his own ideas about how to empower women, but how can we empower women? We can do that, I read somewhere in 15 ways. And number one was boost her self-esteem. You agree with me? Yes. 
Right. Yes, uh, self-esteem uh, and uh, self-development can only come when there is universal education for women, and where where there is uh, where there is justice meted out to women. Right. And uh, uh, there is a charity in England for which I do some work. It's ninety-seven years old, uh -huh. and we provide. Uh, scholarships to girls in secondary schools in developing countries because after they finish their primary school sometimes their education stops so we uh, fund them to until they finish their schooling and that helps to bring about self-esteem self-realization empowerment mm -hmm. because we feel that if you educate one woman you educate a whole family true that is our ethos in true, that uh, charity and similarly all all around the world, I think uh, very strategic planning needs to be done so that women are able to get free education at least at the secondary level so that they can be empowered to be proud of who they are, of where they belong, to, what they are in, and get on with the world. Right. Number two on this long list of uh how to empower women is uh, shut down negativity. How do we do that? How can we shut down negativity? Just in negative attitude of women or the negative attitude of others who treat women like that? Sorry, I have not been able to hear anything because of there were some other people talking. Okay. Right. I said one of the <coughs> ways of empowering women I understand is the first one was boost her self-esteem and the second one on my list is shut down negativity. How do we shut down negativity? Are you with me? Negativity is a, is a, is, is a feeling which differs from person to person. Uh, if you if you keep a human being, for example, a woman uh, who is in a refugee camp, who does not have a roof over her head and water in the taps and food to feed her children, it is but natural psychologically True. Uh, for negativity to uh, to uh, conquer the the mind of that of that woman. Right. So the first thing we need to do so that women do not face negativity is to give them their rights. Yeah. The right of living under a roof, the right to uh, securing safety, the right to food, the right to having their children educated, the right to not be bullied, the right to not be abused. So if the system works, then negativity cannot come in. If we provide a world where women are happy, negativity will not come in. And the second thing we need to do is to give them resources to develop themselves. First of all is education. Second is security. Third, give them vocational education. All women cannot become doctors, engineers, lawyers and barristers. But every woman has a limited capacity to contribute to society. So that opportunity must be provided for women. Mm -hmm. And we must not underestimate women in <coughs> any way. Because... As William Wallace, the American poet, said in 1865, the hand, that, the hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. True. So if you be empower women, we will be empowering the world. And the world will be a much happier <laughs> and a far more peaceful place for all of us. Well, you have just said something that reminds me of uh, what Margaret Thatcher had said some time ago. If you want something said ask a man. If you want something done, ask a woman. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Uh, it is said, or it was said at that time, when Margaret Thatcher was the Prime Minister of this country. Yes, there is also a quote about Margaret Thatcher. Uh, a, a, a parliamentarian says that she's a tiger surrounded by hamsters. <laughs> uh, well, if that makes uh, uh, all the women laugh, happy, I'll go for that. <laughs> I wouldn't mind being a hamster. <laughs> uh, there's, a, there's another point that's to lead by example. How can, 
how can she lead by example if a woman who is not empowered who is not in the right situation is not happy about her job her her family how can lead sorry, by example so probably those sorry, around sorry i am unable to hear you those around her those counseling her the words aren't clear it is loud but the words are fumbled okay Okay, all right, all right, sir. We we'll have to go to, to a break, and when we come back, we will pick up the thread of women empowerment and the impact of pandemic on women folk. See you again very soon. Don't go away. <laughs>